Hey guys, Brandon Wool making it out of Nashville, the ASCAP Country Music Celebration, and we are with Jaron Johnston of uh, Cadillac Three. But today we're kind of honoring the songwriting part yeah. of Jaron. The uh, other, the the Jekyll to my Hyde or the Hyde to my Jekyll, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So you wrote uh, Tyler Hubbard's first solo single. Mm -hmm. How does that collaboration come about? That writing session. Known each other for years, and um, he, you know, the FGL thing kind of came to an end, and he was wanting to write songs, and I was so glad that he called me because. You know, he's got a lot of options, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, he was writing with John Legend the day before he was writing with me. So it's like, I was very honored, and us being friends, and we've grown older together and got families now and everything, and it's just a cool thing because me, him, and Chase McGill got to sit down and actually just talk about being dads and being husbands and, like, talk about our wives and talk about the way that the world is right now. And then high five, and at the end of the day, we got a number one hit out of it. So, yeah, we keep seeing your name uh, popping up on some of these songs now. Not just Cadillac three songs. You're writing with a lot of people. When you get in these writing sessions, how do you know that that might be a song for them and not a Cadillac three song? Or are there times you're writing a song for somebody and you're like, "Man, I might have screwed up. I should have kept that one." Yeah, um, I would say raise them up. There's part of me that I wish I would have kept that, but I don't know that Cadillac three would have been able to take it where. Keith Urban and Eric Church took it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like you want your babies to have the best life they possibly can. Um, but for most times, to answer your first question, I think that you kind of know most times if it's a Cadillac song because it's usually sonically different and lyrically a little different. Um, Probably not going to hear a bunch of tracks and computers messing no, with that song. No, it's going to be a little different than that. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, But, yeah, it's, it's usually pretty obvious on, on that one, yeah. We were talking earlier, we go back uh, to your early years, you kind of grew up Southern Baptist. How do you incorporate some of that faith into these uh, songs you're writing these days? Dude, that's the beauty about country songwriting is I think religion and faith, God, you know, whatever it is, however you believe in it, really does come in a lot more than you think it would. I, for me, it's every song, there's usually some sort of, you know, thank mama for Jesus, you know, yeah. thank daddy for Hank that kind of thing or you know like if I'm writing with Tom Douglas you know he's usually holding a Bible while we write so it's, it's something it's really something to lean on and and honestly it, you're not gonna get a better map to look at if you want to really try to put together a yeah. story it's it's amazing so yeah, I love it. well have fun tonight and, uh, Thank you. cheers yeah